Today on Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools, a pilot program at a local elementary school is a success. Hear from those who are a part of this awesome undertaking. Plus, several TCS student athletes will be able to continue their educations and playing careers in college. And a local team has brought home a state title. We'll tell you who they are. All this and more is coming up. Hi, welcome to Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools. I'm Eddie McClinton. The Book Buddies program at Martin Luther King Jr. Elementary School is making a difference in the academic success of students. Here's more. Um, Book Buddies is a program where we um, match a volunteer tutor with a child at a school who is reading significantly below level and needs extra help. So we have volunteers working one-on-one -on -one with the children and then we have a teacher who has is, who is taught reading for a significant amount of years, writing all the lesson plans for the children and the tutor. It's been great. Um, this is Rotary's 100th anniversary and we wanted to give back to the community and so we decided to focus on the third grade reading initiative in the city schools. Every kid doesn't necessarily have all the same opportunities that everyone else has and just wanted to give him the opportunity to read to me every day and accelerate as much as he possibly could. The children started all significantly below um, first grade level and they're now reading I would say well into first grade like at about 1.7 so we're hoping that many of them will benchmark by the end of the year. But we are going with the same four components that Alabama Reading Initiative had which are reread a familiar text, work on phonics, write something in your journal, and then read a new text. I think this program is really improving with my students as far as confidence. A lot of my kids don't get this extra time at home, so their confidence is through the roof. They only come on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.15, but you don't have to come both days. You could come just Tuesday from 3.15 to 4.15 or just Thursday, and it lasts eight weeks each semester. So that's just a commitment of eight hours. A lot of my kids are excited every day to see their book buddies. They look forward to seeing them because it's like they have a role model and they look forward to seeing them every day. He talks to me and he um, works with me and I love some people who are nice. Tuesday I really don't have anyone so I kind of rotate in case we need extra. So I've had several young people that way but my, my Thursday is stormy. And she's a sweet little girl who's done great. Um, she's been a pleasure to work with. Well, it's been real enlightening because uh, the Malachi is a great kid. Um, he's eager to learn. He is the best because he don't get tired of teaching me. Well, I mean, really and truly, that makes me tingle because he's the one putting in all the effort. And so, yeah, it's exciting. The results are amazing and it's not because of the excellent lessons that I write, it's not because of the extraordinary kids, which they are, but it's because of the one hour that they get with an adult twice a week, just for them, just talking about the specific skill that they um, are working on, just reading a certain book that they're interested in, and it is, it's just a miracle what's, what's happening. I think they've done great. Um, to watch the progress and watching them read and liking to read has been pretty incredible. It's fun. And I like to read. Um. A lot of my kids have shown growth, whether it's 10 words. With first grade, um, that's a lot of improvement. Some of them have jumped from 10 to 20 words. In accuracy, a lot of my kids can read fluently, and that's a really big step in first grade. I like to pick out a own book and I even like to read words. I love it. I love um, book buddies. A group of Air Force A-30 airplane crew members were in town for the air show and visited Central High School to answer questions and offer advice to students who are thinking about the military as an option after graduation. The students, they have seemed very interested in what exactly we're doing and, and why we do it. Uh, sometimes, you know, it depends for each person on what they're actually are trying to get out of it for themselves because it's all about actually bettering yourself. You know, you just commit to a large team 
uh, get out there and, and you know enjoy something, learn something new, uh, maybe get outside of your comfort zone. One thing we have to do as educators is to expose students to all the opportunities out there. And sometimes from their neighborhoods or their community, they're limited to opportunities. So to have guests come in from a worldwide view, from a national view, that these are some opportunities that you can take advantage of. These are some avenues to get the education or the livelihood you want. It's a wonderful experience for our students. It's a great opportunity because it's going to benefit you. And it's good to have, some, have a career or something to follow. You don't want to just graduate high school and not know what you're going to do. What we try to stress, he's an athlete, a student, a good student, but again, he wants to look at opportunities out there to do what he wants to do. He actually wants to be an engineer, so to hear the, the, our guests to come in and say they're engineers in the Air Force, and what they actually do is actually an eye-open experience for me as his educator, also with him as a student, like, wow, this is something I want to do. Never heard of it before, but I'm really interested, and that's a wonderful experience. That's us who see schools, and especially Central High School. What we're actually going for is the opportunity to show you that there are opportunities to advance and become better at what you can you, you do yourself or maybe try something completely new. It's there and we can help you get there. Dozens of students in Matt Freeman's welding courses at the Tuscaloosa Career and Technology Academy participated in a fun and rewarding event. This is welding day and the students are competing and they're showing what they've learned, showing off to the industry and to each other, just uh, really working hard in the booth. We have TIG welding, which is an advanced um, type of welding. Usually people don't do that until they're in the post-secondary uh, level. And uh, it's really, really remarkable. They've, they've learned how to do this already in high school. But uh, so that's, that's the, the grand, the main event. And then we also have some really other good uh, competitions. Uh, most of it involves stick welding. So, and, and uh, the stick welding in different positions. Also we have torch cutting where they have to measure and cut things in a, in a smooth way and, 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 the, and the dimensions have to work out properly. It's a reward, it's a way to say thank you to the students uh, for their hard work. You know, it's, it's, they do look at their future and they know that they're working for something long term, but it's so great to have those little rewards along the way. Uh, for them to feel that accomplishment and for them to be able to come in here. Some of them have only been in the program for a few months and to be able to show something that they've already learned in such a short time, it really serves to shock, put them into being motivated for a long-term uh, situation. Rock Quarry Elementary School students celebrated the many nationalities of his students at the annual International Day. So we have our second um, annual International Day where we invite our parents and our community members to come and uh, be a part of just teaching our students about other cultures. So th um, last year we had just the indoor portion um, and it was so successful that we actually combined it with our uh, field day events because kids wanted to learn more about um, different places and really the countries that are represented in our student body. So the students will spend half the day outside in multicultural events, um, you know, all kinds of just outdoor activities, and then they spend half the day inside in kind of like an Epcot style event where they'll go from uh, country to country and just uh, do an activity or learn a little bit about you know what they eat, what games they play, um, you know things that are important to them. We have over 22 countries that are represented in our student body, um, and we wanted to be able to teach our students more about what it really means to be a diverse population of students and a diverse population of people. Um, and so, this, just our, our parents wanted to teach, our, our kids wanted to learn, and so it was the, it was the perfect formula to be able to really put on a day that um, I think our kids will continue to grow from and just become more curious about other places and other people. The Green Ribbon Award-winning Woodland Forest Elementary School provides students with a fun, interactive, hands-on learning experience during the annual Discovery Fest. Uh, this is our annual Discovery Fest. Actually, this is our eighth year to do this, and we have community groups. Some are nonprofits. Some are uh, just volunteers from the University of Alabama. We have some students from the art department at Bryant High School that came and helped do some Earth Day crafts today. Uh, Mercedes is here. Amstai's here. We have Trot and Barnyard, we have Discovering Alabama, the Museum of Natural History. We have all kinds of different um, organizations that have to do something with the Earth or Earth Day or the environment or nature. And they've all come together, a lot of them took off today, to come and help us here at Woodland Forest have a in-school field trip, I guess if you'd like to call it. All our 500 and something kids get to participate all day long. They uh, switch around from learning station to learning station so that they can learn about different jobs that may be career 
jobs for the future or different uh, things about animals and things about nature that we need to do that we're not doing or things that are um, better for the earth to make it more sustainable and livable for our future. University Place Middle School students participated in a day of fun and hands-on learning as they celebrated Earth Day. We've got about 12 groups set up around the school. We have things from the water department, which is in the background, to um, live fish and um, some scratch work going on with coding in the computers. The Tuscaloosa Library is here with some other coding with robots. So it's anything to do with our we've got solar panels and the recycling company. So it's just a fun day and a way for the kids to know that we are trying to preserve our earth as long as we can. Well, one of the things we've actually already seen collaborating together so they're having to get in groups and work and try to figure things out so the groups are very small which is what this school allows for since we only have 150 students anyways the groups are about 10 to 12 kids and so they're really able to get their questions answered get their voices heard in a small group setting as opposed to a large classroom setting when we come back we'll show you what sports team won a state championship sports is next stick around you're watching inside tuscaloosa city schools Keep up with the latest Tuscaloosa City Schools news, check out exciting photos and informative videos by liking the Tuscaloosa City Schools on Facebook. Log on to facebook.com slash TCS Board of Ed for the latest in City Schools news. InfoSnap registration is now open. Parents, did you receive your child's SNAP code? The SNAP code is the key to be able to register students for the upcoming school year. Schools need updated contact information on file in case of emergencies. Yeah, and to make sure the school buses are there to pick us up in the morning. And that we're attending the schools we're zoned for. So visit www.tuscaloosacityschools.com slash snap and register on InfoSnap. It's a snap! For up-to-the-minute notices on important Tuscaloosa City Schools happenings, follow us on Twitter at TCS Board of Ed. Welcome into sports. Well, years of hard work and dedication recently paid off for the Northridge girls tennis team when they brought home the Class 6A state title in impressive fashion. It's definitely a great feeling. Um, it's, it couldn't happen to a, more, a better team. I have so many great teammates and we all just love each other and like worked really hard together, like I said. And um, it, it couldn't have happened to a better team. I, I love this team a lot. It means a lot to me. Well, I've been playing number one for five years, so since eighth grade, and every year we worked harder and harder, and we did better each year, and so this year just kind of like hit the nail on the coffin. We just, we won. It's wonderful. It's the best feeling literally ever. It was so amazing, and it's just so deserving of this whole team because we push each other, no matter if you play or not, we all push each other to be the best, and we even practice outside of our like Northridge tennis, so it was just really exciting. I haven't come off a of cloud nine yet, I really haven't. It's unreal. I actually came out pretty on top. We beat, I think the second place team had 40 points and we had about 63 maybe. So when I, I got off my singles court and I just won for singles my um, in my seed, four singles, and they told me that we had just secured it and so that was we all had a little party right there. And as they were just playing it was just coming out the way we needed it to come out and like it was just a great feeling for everybody on the team even the girls who didn't have a chance to play it was just wonderful everyone was ecstatic. So the four seniors we got to go first because you know it's our last year and we've played the longest and we all ran up and I've never had so much joy in my life like you could just see it on our faces how excited we were. Like, I get chills talking about it, it was so amazing. Um, when we won, it was like really unreal. I just couldn't believe that it happened and that we, that like the seniors have wanted it so badly. And I was just really happy to see how happy they were. But it was just amazing. Like, we literally just made history and it's crazy. It's something that we'll, like you said, always be bonded about. I just love this team and I'm so thankful to have been a part of it. And it breaks my heart that I have to leave. The Central Lady Falcons made it all the way to the state title game this year, and two of their players have now made it to college to play basketball. Also, another Falcon will stay home and play for the men's team at Shelton State Community College. I never thought I'd think I'd sign up to college, but when I came to Central, everything changed. 
I never thought I would come here. So it just felt good with him coaching me and pushing me and my teammates helping me on the side. It was the best they uh, help you with academics and basketball. They let you never give up and they always push you to strive for more. Yes, I, I put education before anything because without education, I wouldn't be here signing. Uh, I'm majoring in biology to become a dental hygienist and maybe I'll become a dentist. Yeah, it's a dream come true. It's very exciting and just to be able to um, go to that next level and go to college and um, another chapter in my life. Yes, I had other offers, but I just felt like, um, you know, it's closer to home and um, the style of play, how everybody is up in tempo, running the floor, how you can get everybody involved. This program has helped me tremendously. Um, just the um, home environment, me coming over here my 11th grade year, teachers and the counselors, the, um, the principal, they were just there um, always supporting me, not just for basketball, on the academic side as well. I'm labeled as a shooter, but I can do a lot of stuff as well. Um, put the ball on the floor, make strong moves, get to the cup real easy, as well as create um, opportunities for my teammates, you know, draw the defense in, kick it out for them so they can be successful as well. It's time for Selma. I think it's a dream come true. Not everybody get that opportunity, so I'm blessed. Uh, it reminds me of home. I live how it's a private and Christian school, and I'm a Christian also, so I think it's going to help me build my faith in Christ and just get closer to God, just what it's all about. Uh, they just like my hard work, my, my work, and it, uh, my discipline, and they just love my game. Being disciplined, uh, defense, that's, I think that's Coach River's main thing about you know defense, offense. Everybody has offense, but defense is the main goal, and being disciplined in the classroom and on the court and off the court, so that's my it. I'm just, like I said, I'm blessed. Uh, I've seen many of them go, go to college. He signed just about three every year, and I'm just glad that my name is one of them. Three Northridge Jaguar athletes signed scholarships to compete at the next level and continue their educations. One each in the sport of baseball, golf, and tennis. I've been playing golf since I was about six, so I'm just thankful to be able to get an opportunity to play in college. It seemed like it had everything it needed for me as a person, not just sports, but everything as a whole. Probably my drive. I drive the ball really far in golf, and um, I just think they like my all my skills as a whole. All my teachers that support me, they help me when I come back, like after I miss days, they help me to make up stuff so I won't be behind in my work. And uh, everybody at this school just supports me. I just want to thank God and I want to thank my granddad and the rest of my family for supporting me and just helping me to get better in the sport. Just having like a family of athletes who all went to college and played, it was only right that I continued it. The thing about A&M that sold me was the tennis team because their tennis team was just full of amazing, wonderful people and their coach is just a wonderful person and I knew I could see myself for the next four years there and that I just fit right in with the team. They liked my personality a lot, and then they also liked that I was hardworking and my tennis skills of where I've been until the potential that I still have and what I can do beneficial to the team for them. Um, I think our team's just hardworking, and we know like where we are and what we can do better, and we know where we can be. And it's just that everyone on the team wants to win, no one wants to lose, and that's really important when it comes to stuff like this. So we work as a team to get to win every time. Um, it's, it's an honor to get to do it. It's a great opportunity. Um, 
to not only serve my country, but to better myself academically and uh, continue my baseball career. I couldn't be more excited. Um, uh, it's just unbelievable, really. After I talked to the baseball coach and I visited out there when I saw it for the first time, um, it was just really unbelievable how, uh, how much I just felt like that school was for me. Um, how much I felt like it was just uh, calling me. That's what, that's what I knew I wanted to do after I saw it. Um, it only took once. I said, that's, that's where I want to go. That's what I want to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to be a left-handed pitcher there. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm excited to play at the next level. Um, uh, it'll be a new challenge and I'm ready for it. But the players this year, it's a, it's a bond that, like no other. Um, I know they've got my back and uh, it means a lot to me. The Paul W. Bryant Stampede Boys basketball team won the 2017 Class 6A state title and this spring they lost the championship game. But that success has helped four of those players earn scholarships to the next level. Uh, it's bittersweet. Um, it was one of my goals as a child. My dad played college ball and I always wanted to be like him, so playing college ball is, is a blessing. It's just a bittersweet moment for me. It felt like home. When I got there, I mean, the coach staff, the players, the um, teachers, professors, everybody felt welcoming. It just felt like I could see myself playing for four years. I like to jump, I like to dunk on people, but uh, I like to do the dirty work, like rebound and blocking shots, protecting the paint. So I felt like that caught their eye when I was on the circuit. Leadership, communication, I feel I can carry that on to the next level because with the players and Coach Pay, they instill leadership and being vocal on the court and being the eyes since I'm on the back line, being the eyes of the team. So I feel like I can carry that to the next level. It's pretty cool. I mean, we've been growing up with each other since we were like five, six years old. So just to see us going all to the next level, it's a blessing. It's pretty cool to be with the same guys and see them also be great in basketball. I've been wanting to sign since I was a little kid. Starting up basketball has always been a dream for me to play basketball no matter what level. So I mean, it's a dream come true, really. I like the school when I first visit. I mean, I like the campus. Coaches are real um, easy going. Um, school was nice. I mean, this environment, I just fell in love with it, really. Um, I mean, they like my game, long, skilled. I mean, a mismatch of three, four, I mean, it's just everything, really. Well, it means a lot, because I mean, each and every day in practice, we, we battling, we getting after each other, I mean, so it's just a competitive nature for us. I mean, all of us want to go play college basketball, so that's what we're going to do. He's, he's a good coach. I mean, he, he pushes us to practice every day. He makes us better, keeps us focused on the off the court, makes sure we get our schoolwork and stuff like that. They let me know that I have, have improved a lot to uh, get myself to the next level. Well, East Central is in the middle, like, there's nothing to do down there, so they have me focused on basketball in school. Well, since I've been little, we've been playing together to win the championship. This is the first championship we lost together as a team. But hopefully, I get a group of guys just like these, and we can maybe win the state championship too. They say Tuscaloosa had a lot of talent and that I guess we got something to prove. Oh, well, basically this school is like a family. They treat you like one of your kids. Yeah, since I was little, I always wanted to play collegiate ball and to make it come true today is a blessing. Yeah, that was my first offer, and when I went to my visit, they made me feel like I was at home, and they welcomed me with open arms, and I really like, uh, loved their program. Uh, they, they like just about everything, and they, they were telling me that I need to come in and work hard and uh, help their program. Um, I got to keep working. Just because I'm signing, it don't mean I still got to keep working so I can get better, more better so I can make uh, my next dream and then make it to the NBA. I mean, it's, a, it's amazing that knowing me and my uh, teammates sign to college and play at the next level. Yeah, because everybody can't sign or play at the next level, and it's a blessing that me and three other of my teammates can sign. They prepared us and made us college career ready and going to the next level, academic and school. In soccer action, the Northridge girls and boys were area champions, and they earned the right to host the first round of the playoffs in Tuscaloosa.
both teams moved to the next round where they faced the number one team in the state. Homewood ended the Jaguar boys season while John Carroll Catholic eliminated the girls. And finally tonight, one event that is sure to warm the heart is the annual Tuscaloosa Area Special Olympics track and field meet. Check out highlights from this year's event. Keep up with TCS news and information, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and connect with us on YouTube and Instagram at TCS Board of Ed. Thank you for supporting our hardworking students, staff, teachers, and administrators of the Tuscaloosa City Schools. We'll see you next time.